How's it going, guys? Uh, I'm snowed in here today. I uh, hope you're having a bit better weather than me out here. Uh, so I thought I would just make a in-the-bag video for me as an intermediate player, show you what's in my bag, what my bag is, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So this is my cart. It's a Zuka Transit. It can carry up to like 30 discs in this main compartment by itself. But uh, I don't really need it to hold that many because I like to use a putter pouch, the XXL from Infinite. And that carries a ton of my favorite discs from drivers to mid ranges all the way down to putters. So, yeah, I, uh, I like to putt with Gateway SSS Wizard. For an understable throwing putter, I will throw a Kristen Tatar Zero Medium Moonshine Pure. This plastic feels incredible. You could really putt with these. I did for a while, but I love them to throw forehands that need to get to the left or backhands that need to get right with a putter type of distance. For a straight putter, I like to throw this Axiom Proxy with this awesome stamp. Shout out to Ripper Studios for this really cool design. I'm sure a lot of you have seen from Infinite. But yeah, this uh, in the Eclipse plastic, this proxy is just very straight flying, neutral putter. Awesome for those type of shots. For my overstable throwing putter, I like to throw an Envy. It's a great, awesome disc. I'm sure every every single one of you know from this guy right here, James Conrad, with one of the greatest shots of all time in disc golf. Probably the greatest shot of all time at 2021 Worlds. Just incredible disc. It's uh, nice and dependably overstable. Uh, James is, was quite beat in and in the Electron Plastic. I like the Eclipse 2.0. Glow is great, so MVP really makes some of the best glow plastic in the game. As for my approaches, I have really been loving the Saki Bomb Slammer from Dynamic Discs. It's an awesome disc because it's just so incredibly reliable. I know I can absolutely trust this into any kind of wind to Heiser on a forehand or a backhand. It's gonna come out of some Anheuser and get to that Heiser angle and finish where I want it to finish without too much glide or guesswork. I absolutely trust my Saki Bomb Slammer for all my approaches. Unless, I guess, I'm trying to throw one in, and if that's the case, I really like the MVP glitch. This thing basically has a cult following at this point. You all know what this does. This is an amazing hybrid catch disc in the Neutron Soft plastic. It's lightweight, it's great for players of any skill level. I love to play with it just to warm up, play catch, you know, try to throw one in the basket, like Frisbee style. It's, a, it's just an awesome disc to have in your bag. Absolutely can't say enough good things about it. Great disc for anybody. Moving on to the mid-ranges, I bag a Axiom Hex in their Neutron Plastic. This disc is awesome. It's very straight flying with somewhat of a finish to it. It will get back and hyzer a little bit on a right hand backhand at the very end, but for the most part, it's just gonna be a very neutral, straight flying disc, which is awesome to have in the woods, especially, or when I get shot maybe a bit further than 250 feet, and I can't quite throw a putter that far, 270 maybe, 
I will be reaching for my Axiom Hex for sure. And if I want more of an overstable shot than what the Hex can give me, the Pyro is a great complement to it. I'm sure you've seen Simon throwing his Pyro quite a bit on tour by now, although I've heard he's a bit injured. But uh, yeah, the Pyro, great disc, very reliably overstable, but it doesn't dump or finish too hard. But I can definitely trust it into a headwind or to get back to hyzer, no matter what kind of uh, angle I put on it. If I put it on a hand hyzer and pump it out there pretty hard, I know and trust that it's gonna flex out. When it comes to an understable mid-range type of shot, I absolutely love this Buzz SS. This is the Midnight Z uh, D-Glow edition from last year. Shout out to Calvin Heimberg, that guy right there, for uh, winning that tournament. But uh, yeah, awesome disc, the Buzz SS. It's a very straight flyer that I can depend on to get a little bit of turn to the right when I throw it flat. I know that even if I put it on a little bit of hyzer, it will flip up and get a little bit of turn. So it's nice to have this type of disc, especially in the woods. Now on to the fairway drivers. As for fairway drivers, we have to start out with this awesome Greg Barsby Tour Series Eagle. I'm sure you've seen Greg and Calvin throw these things a million times. They're awesome, very nice and reliable disc. It's overstable. I can trust it on a forehand, on a backhand. It's gonna come back, it's gonna fade if I put it on some Anheuser. Uh, it's a very dependable, awesome looking cool disc. And Greg Barsby, world champion, great guy. Love to support him. Oh, three. It doesn't even matter though. Greg Barsby Eagle still parks it. <laughs> Don't even have to be good to throw that disc. As for a more of a straight fairway, I have this Kristen Tatar Saint Pro that I've dyed here. I think it looks pretty sweet with like the purple and yellow, star and blue. Very cool disc. Uh, it's a wonderful disc as far as how straight it is. I can pump it out there flat or on a little bit of hyzer and I know it'll just flip up a little bit, maybe turn but just go pretty much dead straight. So yeah, Kristen Tatar Saint Pro. Kristen Tatar Saint Pro, really awesome disc to have in the woods or out in the open. Just super handy for these 300 foot type of distance shots. I can really trust it to go straight. For an understable fairway, I have this Castaplast Bulk, which is died kind of like uh, Simon's old PD uh, and honest to God that's kind of how it flies for me <laughs> unfortunately um, I don't have that big of an arm but I can throw this one out and get it to flip up and turn a bit on some hyzer and all the way over to turning and get a nice little finish at the end or I can put it flat and know that it's gonna turn to the right so awesome disc and some great plastic. K1 plastic is awesome. Castaplast really nails it with this stuff. Uh, yeah, Castaplast bulk under stable fairway. For utilities, I have a couple of utilities uh, in my bag. Discs that I don't usually go to, but are uh, handy sometimes. This Axiom Fireball in neutron plastic is super overstable. You can kind of see just this crazy shape that it has. I actually have a full tilt right here and for comparison you can kind of see that they're somewhat similar <laughs> as far as how overstable they are. This thing is much more usable than a tilt but Probably for what a lot of you, probably for what I need, a big dependable shot that's gonna come out of any Anheuser I put on it, uh, or throw an awesome tomahawk, thumber, grenade style shots. 
Fireball is an awesome disc for that. My other utility disc is this Star It from Innova. It's extremely flippy. I can throw it out on some hyzer and know that it's gonna turn very far to the right, or I can throw it nice and flat and know that I'm gonna get a very easy roller with the Star It. And last but certainly not least, we have distance drivers. I have this S-Line DD3. This media was kind enough to send me out a black one, so I have two in my bag. And good lord, do I love this disc. It's incredible. It will fly and glide forever. You fly as an amateur, pump it out on some Anheuser. I can get it well past 350. It's probably the most, the furthest flying disc in my bag, for sure. The Discmania DD3, amazing, incredible glide. The plastic feels Incredible. I love the S-Line plastic. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I think Dismania really nailed it with these. And I look forward to throwing perhaps more discs in this plastic in the future. Man, you got some distance on that. Oh yeah. My neutral distance driver, I have this Kristen Tatar Grace, the player of the year, world champion edition. Uh, it's a phenomenal straight flying distance driver. I know that I have absolute control over a very straight shot that gets a good amount of turn on some hyzer. Uh, I can just throw it and know that it's gonna go dead straight like an arrow without much fade. Our eagle chances here on 11, if you get it way down this fairway. This is crushed. <laughs> yes, this is, it is. This is so good. Oh my gosh. He almost aced it. He's parked for eagle. I was hoping we would see this. And finally, we get to the understable distance driver in my bag. I have this MVP vision wave that I've died. This thing also absolutely bombs. I know I can crank this out on some hyzer. It's gonna flip up and turn and just go forever. Sometimes that's a bit hard to control, so I don't always find myself exactly using this on the course so much, but when I do, it's a heck of a lot of fun. I think it turned out really good to die, so would highly recommend anybody who hasn't died discs yet, give it a try, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So yeah, that was my uh, in the bag video as an intermediate amateur player. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.